Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Charlotte Lombard, and this is my partner, Ashley Hammond. And we're here to talk to you today about a topic we've decided to call gender slot. OK. <laughs> gender slotting is the assigning certain objects, colors, and ideas to a specific gender, effectively cutting the other gender off from them. This is most obvious in children's toys which are introduced to people at an age where they're still forming their conceptions of the world, and those are, in fact, very malleable. Um, you may have noticed that toys and toy stores are usually separated into girls' and boys' sections, with very little merging between the two. Generally, the girls' toys are predominantly pink or purple and involve beauty, nurturing, and gentle or elegant sports such as ballet, while the boys' toys are mostly boy blue and green and involve things like warfare, sports that are more rough like wrestling and soccer, and building. You may have also noticed that even when toys that are usually classified as boys' toys are remarketed towards girls, they are given softer, rounder edges and often painted pink. At this point, you may be thinking, so what? What's wrong with that? Well, actually, there are a lot of things that are wrong with gender slotting. These toys shape children's interests, ideas, and perceptions of the world. When you tell a little girl that her appearance, that in order to be feminine or uh, go by society's laws, that they need to um, focus on their appearance rather than the world around them, you, you keep them from learning about things that may truly interest them and that they may be good at in the future. Not only that, but by forcing children into a rigid range of ideas, you can keep you can make children who already feel different or uncomfortable in their bodies to believe there is something wrong with themselves, which is something that no child should ever have to feel. Furthermore, if we tell children that liking toys other than their gender, uh, other than their gender is wrong, we can make them feel, make them, we can make them feel grow. We can. While they're growing up, they can feel that doing the things that they love is wrong, which can lead to feelings of depression, isolation, and disconnection from society. Furthermore, gender slotting can also open up bullying for those that don't comply to the toys that have been slotted for their gender. Sorry. Uh, not only does gender slotting harm children's self-image, but it also harms uh, their skill set. In the recent article in Movement, Let Toys Be Toys, they have found that different types of toys and playtimes develop different skills. For instance, for instance, construction and they found that construction and technology develop solving problem solving and spatial skills, while uh, role play, while toys are related to role play, such as uh, dress up and uh, kitchen sets and such as dress up in kitchen sets, can develop social skills. And then there are arts and crafts, which develop perseverance and creativity. In a recent study by, conducted in 2005 by Blake Warren Centers, involving using a number of undergraduates to rate children's toys, supports the same findings as those of Let Toys Be Toys. They found that masculine toys rated uh, were rated highest as aggressive, competitive, and violent, and in need of more adult attention. Whereas toys, whereas feminine toys were rated to be higher in appearance and physical attractiveness. Looking at this evidence, it becomes clear that by limiting children on the toys that they can play with limits the foundations for skills that could prove to be valuable and even crucial for their futures. This problem is going to be very difficult to fix, and it is a thing, sorry, <laughs> as it is based upon our society's deeply ingrained values, habits, and beliefs. Although it will likely take years to truly solve, there are a number of small changes we can make to help this greater change along. One huge way is to encourage gender-neutral marketing and advertising. It could convince, if we could convince companies to advertise both boys and girls playing with their toys, we could encourage the idea that toys don't belong to one gender or another, but are in fact available and fun for anyone who wishes to care to play with them. For anyone who wishes to care to play with them. I can't speak today, sorry about that. Um, another smaller way we can make a change is through sorting toys not by gender, but rather by genre. 
such as arts and crafts and toys that are related to role play or toys that are related to engineering, which would both facilitate browsing and avoid the um, often aggressive 